Congenital heart defects in adults that require surgery are not that common, and understanding surgical outcomes can be difficult because no one center clearly has enough patients to make a useful series. Now in circulation, however, researchers report on a multi-center cohort study of more than 300 adult patients from Europe and Canada who previously underwent surgery for discrete subaortic stenosis and had a follow-up of about 13 years. There is good and bad news in the outcomes. The good news is that the peak instantaneous left ventricular outflow tract gradient decreased from 76 to 15 millimeters mercury. Mild aortic regurge was present in 68%, but generally did not progress over time. The bad news is that the gradient recurred over time at a rate of about 1.5 millimeters mercury per year. Almost half of the patients required at least one reoperation. Interestingly, one predictor for reoperation was female gender. Adding myectomy to removal of the subvalvar stenosis did not reduce the risk for reoperation, but significantly increased the risk of a complete heart block requiring pacemaker implantation in 8% versus 2% without myectomy. What's the take-home message here? Survival, first off, is excellent after surgery for subaortic stenosis, but need for reoperation for recurrence is common. Over time, the LVOT gradient slowly increases. Myectomy does not show additional advantage, and it is associated with an increased risk of heart block, so should not be performed routinely. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.